Now, if you have this same construction somewhere else in space, then you could just imagine these two tubes connecting such that you don't have a singularity anymore, but rather a tube that connects one space-time to the other space-time. This is a wormhole. It's like a bridge from one part of space-time to another. How crazy, this science is just, it's just real science. Like, this is Einstein's equations. The same equations we use every day, the basis for all physics. This is Einstein's equations taken to its extreme. So when people say this is just theoretical, what do you mean it's theoretical? This isn't theoretical. Einstein's equations are proven to be real, proven to be true, many, many times over. But that some people, the same people that say Einstein's equations are real, all this stuff, they go, yes, but you're not allowed to break them like you just did. You're not allowed to break, what do you mean? It's not even me who came up with this. This is Einstein who came up with this. All Einstein stuff is correct, except for they just don't believe that this part's real for some reason. And here's the, here's the rub, like many things in physics, the academics, their math isn't wrong. Their math's not wrong. Their conceptual view is what's wrong. Their conceptual view is what's wrong. We're not physically making a tube. We're not physically making a tube that the object's going through. That's not what happened. That's not what's happening in the MH370 videos. It's more confusing than that, actually. <laughs> what we're seeing is like the plane is there and then it's just not there. And presumably it's somewhere else the next instant. So the tube, the tunnel, the throat is more of a concept of us thinking about it. It's not necessarily what we would physically see. That's what I want people to understand. Because people ask me, Ashton, they say, what would it look like from the perspective of the people on board the plane? And I always say it would look like walking through a doorway. 